Chapter 9, The Snitch. After a week of communicating with the general, he was approved for mainline. The next morning, I knew it was going to be one of those days. My cell was having plumbing problems and was deemed unsanitary to live in, so I was forced to move to another cell. They moved me to the first cell on the first tier, right next to the barred gate. My new neighbor was a BGF named Leonard. Mac was four cells down from me. Since the three of us had been in the hole, Mac had been spending more time out of his cell than in. He was going to the doctor a lot, which I personally didn't find suspicious considering the beating he took in the TV room. Leonard, however, brought it to my attention that he might be snitching me and Bo off. I really wasn't worried about it. Mac was a loyal NF member and Bo trusted him. One night, I asked Mac why he was leaving the tears so much and he told me it was because he was still getting medical treatment, which I halfway accepted. Then, one day, he went out for a doctor's appointment and didn't come back. That sent up a big red flag. The following week, the assistant district attorney came by and officially informed Bo and I that we were being charged with trash man's death. When this happened, we knew for sure that Mac had turned state evidence against us. The day was over and the night was closing in. The tear gets mighty quiet with no radios or TVs. It's peaceful. But lately, that hadn't always been the case. Some of my nights over the past few months had been anything but peaceful. I was waking up with nightmares, my heart pounding, sweat running out of me like I was a sprinkler. I learned later that this was classic, this is classic post-traumatic stress syndrome and usually caused by a past traumatic event. In my case, I think it had more to do with what the future might bring and worrying about that. I had a lot of anxiety and fear about the possibility of being killed or maimed for life. Remember, I was still just a youngster. A lot was being thrown at me all at once. The one good thing about fear is it kept me very alert to my surroundings, almost to the point of paranoia, which brings me to my next subject, discipline.